uh, with Hispanic Access Foundation's Conservation Program. And I'm here today with Alex McCrickard and Virginia's Department of Wildlife Resources to learn a little bit more about how you can fish here in Virginia. Um, so we'll go through just a few basics of fishing in general and fishing specifically here in Virginia. So thanks for being here with us, Alex. Yeah, absolutely. And I'd love to start with just talking a little bit about where you can fish in Virginia. Yeah, so that's a great question, Jessica. Um, and really, in Virginia, we're, we're pretty lucky. There's a, a wide diversity of uh, fishing opportunities um, all across the state. Um, and really, it can be hard to, to kind of know where to get started. Um, but the best thing to do would be to head to our website, um, which is dwr.virginia.gov. There are a variety of different uh, still water opportunities, lakes and ponds, uh, as well as rivers and streams. And you can find water bodies of water by locality or by water body type um, that's, that's near you to plan your fishing adventure. So Alex, I recently heard about PWR's new program, Fish Local Virginia. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, Jessica. So um, we actually just launched a new initiative, uh, Fish Local Virginia, um, where we're highlighting uh, exceptional angling opportunities in and around urban metropolitan areas. So if you live in a city um, or in an urban metropolitan area, um, you don't have to travel far to find good fishing. There are great opportunities right in your own backyard. Whether you live in Richmond, Virginia Beach, um, whether you're in Northern Virginia, up around Alexandria, or even out to the west, Harrisonburg, and then even further southwest around Roanoke, there are lots of different urban impoundments, small ponds and lakes uh, that we stock with a variety of different species that provide great fishing opportunities. I recommend checking out the Fish Local section of our website to kind of find a body of water near you. Awesome. Thanks, Alex. I'd love to dive a little deeper and talk a little bit about what different types of fishing is available in Virginia, Alex. Yeah, absolutely, Jessica. So um, there's a lot of different types of fishing available. Um, you can fish with artificial lures with a spinning rod um, or a conventional setup. You can even fish with bait in Virginia. Um, and you can even fly fish, which is one of my favorite methods of fishing. Um, one thing that's important to, to think about when you're planning your fishing trip is make sure you look up the regulations for the water body that you're planning to fish just to ensure that there's no gear restrictions or method restrictions ahead of time. Um, to find our uh, regulations, visit the link below on our website. So Alex, when my family goes fishing, we love to bring the fish home, fry them up, sure. eat them. Um, yeah. Is that okay to do all across the state or are there rules around that? Yeah, great question, Jessica. Um, so really the, the first place to start is to, when you're planning a fishing trip, Again, make sure you check the regulations for the certain water body that you're planning on fishing prior to your to getting out on the water. If you plan on harvesting fish, make sure to reference the regulations for that water body on our website or in our regulations digest. The creel and length limit table will tell you the size requirements and bag limits for various species of fish you may be targeting. It's important to look at these regulations before your trip and remember to check them as they can change from year to year. Um, so Alex, could you tell me a little bit more about uh, what type of fishing license is required and where I can get that? Yeah, great question, Jessica. Um, so really the best place to buy a freshwater fishing license uh, is going to be online uh, on our website, www.gooutdoorsvirginia.com. You need a fishing license if you're 16 years or older and you're fishing on public freshwater in Virginia. Um, the website is available in both English and Spanish. It's the best place to start. Another great place to buy a fishing license can be via our uh, Go Outdoors Virginia app, which you can buy uh, just with the app on your phone. Um, and additionally, you can also buy a fishing license from retail stores like Walmart. Um, uh, an annual freshwater fishing license, which will give you 365 days of fishing, costs $23 a year. Um, if you are gonna fish on our stocked trout waters, uh, you'll need a, um, a trout license, which for an annual, it's also $23 a year as well. Virginia residents can also purchase a five-day freshwater fishing license instead of an annual. However, you don't have to be a Virginia resident to fish in freshwater in Virginia. Non-residents have the option of purchasing a one-day, five-day, or annual freshwater fishing license. Acceptable forms of ID for residents include a Virginia driver's license. Acceptable forms of ID for non-residents and U.S. citizens include a U.S. driver's license number or an ID number. Acceptable forms of ID for non-residents and non-U.S. citizens include a passport, visa, green card, 
or non-US driver's license. All right, so now that we know the rules, let's get to the fun stuff. Uh, can you talk about how to even cast? Yeah, great question, Jessica. Um, so um, first off, for, for getting started fishing, most beginner anglers will fish with a, a closed face push button spinning rod. It's kind of the easiest way to get started. And casting is really a motion between 10 o'clock and two o'clock. Starting at two o'clock, press the button down on the reel and hold the button down as you swing your arm forward. Once you get to 10 o'clock, you can let go of the button and the momentum of the lure moving forward will send your cast out in the direction the rod is pointed. All right, so I cast my rod, what's next? Yeah, so that kind of depends on the you know, type of fishing that you're doing. Um, so if you're fishing with bait, um, there's a couple of basic rigs, um, uh, a hook, bobber, and sinker is a, just a traditional floater rig that you often will fish with a, a worm, either a night crawler or a red wiggler. That's a situation where you gotta be patient, watch that bobber. If the bobber goes down, you wanna set that hook by jerking your rod up over your shoulder and keeping tension on the line to reel that fish in. Um, another common way to um, fish um, bait is down on the bottom with a rig called a Carolina rig. Uh, oftentimes it's a, um, a sinker, uh, half a quarter ounce will keep your rig down along the bottom. Um, and it's also kind of a sit and wait game. Um, if you're fishing an artificial lure, it's a little more active where you're actually gonna be casting that lure out, letting it sink if it's a lure that sinks or if it's a lure that floats, just immediately retrieving that lure um, back through the water column to imitate a forage fish or a food source for those fish. What common fish can you fish for in Virginia? Great question. So Virginia's blessed with the diversity of freshwater fish species across the state. Um, we're pretty lucky. We have lots of warm water assemblages uh, on our lakes and ponds. So species like largemouth bass are popular to, to target. Uh, panfish like bluegill, red ear sunfish, um, in addition to black crappie, and then even uh, some of our catfish species like channel catfish are common on some of our warm water lakes. On our warm water rivers and streams, oftentimes uh, you can target smallmouth bass throughout the state. Um, one thing that's really cool is in the springtime on our larger rivers and streams, um, we have uh, hickory shad and striped bass that will run up our tidal rivers to spawn around the fall line, um, which is at our major cities like Richmond and Fredericksburg, um, District of Columbia, up on the Potomac River. And then if you like trout fishing, you can get up into the mountains and fish for brown trout, brook trout, and rainbow trout on a variety of our stock waters. Well, thanks so much, Alex, for sharing all of that useful information with us. Um, I certainly feel way more prepared to hit the water now. So I'd love to just ask what your final remarks or thoughts are for our community as they head out. Yeah, thanks, Jessica. So just kind of as a final reminder, it's always important to check uh, the regulations for the given body of water that you're planning on fishing and ensure that you have the proper fishing license before getting out on the water. It's always important to visit our website. You can also learn about that water body and what to expect while you're out on the water. And remember, fishing is a lifetime sport um, that you can enjoy, you know, with friends and family and the outdoors are better together. So find a water body near you. It can connect you to the outdoors and wildlife and, uh, and give you a great opportunity to, to, to get outside. So we'll see you on the water. Mm -hmm.